This is Beth Cummins. I'm continuing with my book, Animal Rhymes Are Learning Time. Um, today I'm going to start with the Kiki Kangaroo. And there's Kiki Kangaroo. And he has a baby in his pouch. I'm not a great illustrator, but the books um, were meant to be labeled at that time. Later on, I just put pictures in, and it was different and easier. Uh, a kangaroo is a herbivore known for its pouch. It can use all four limbs to cause an ouch. It can jump for a short time a very long way. Mom and Joey, a baby roo, in her pouch can stay. It has paws and claws, and is seen as a boxer since. It has longer legs and shorter forelimbs. Uses its back legs and tail to keep it standing erect. Lives in the outback and has few enemies to correct. I have some friends in Australia and I saw kangaroos before that. And we have a kangaroo ride at the amusement park. So I've always liked kangaroos. Next rhyme poem is the lounging ladybug. And if, if uh, you look around, sometimes you'll see little ladybugs, and you're supposed to be lucky. The lounging ladybug. This beetle flies to you and lands on your hands. A predator insect whose uh, only its appearance is grand. They taste bad to other insects and to the birds. It's a minuscule omnivore and it has no words. So pretty and so easy to catch, but be aware. They fly in your garden and they eat their food there. They have four stages of growth that we know. Egg pupa, larvae, and adult eat even as they grow. They protect far crops for farmers who think they are keen. I wonder if the spiders think they are mean. And there's lounging ladybug that I colored and labeled with fun facts. Uh, the next poem rhyme is the Lippy Llama. The Lippy Llama is from South America, is from where llamas come from. People in this land had to use them in some. Because they are useful, carry and run pretty fast. Their hooves grip the land that they go past. They have very few front biting teeth to eat. These herbivores eat grassy things, not meat. They are known to spit and are ruminants. That's that they have uh, four channel stomachs. Don't ride the llama, it's one of its camps. This gentle, smart animal lives 20 or more years to weigh 500 pounds. You can hear a yama making a yama humming sounds. Some people call it yama, some people call it a llama. Um, South America is where the llama comes from. People in this land use them and some. That was the first two lines that I kind of messed up just a little bit. The mischievous monkey. The mischievous monkey is hanging upside down. He's mischievous. You're used to seeing monkeys hanging in a cage. And there's a fun fact labeled on there. When the monkey is playing, he thinks you're also playing, too. How much is not known, but you can see him in a zoo. They can imitate what you do as they see it done. They can jump high, play, make sounds, and run. The omnivore monkey eats with its hands. They have even been known to play in bands. Primates and mammals with opposable thumbs. 
Some have color vision to see when they run. They are known to live almost everywhere and can live in captivity up to 50 years. Uh, monkeys uh, are able to get really old. Um, and I don't know how long they live on, you know, fettered, not in a zoo. Um, the Biny Moose is the next rhyme poem. And there's the moose from Alaska. You know, you see the moose. You think of Alaska mostly. The Mighty Moose. Alaska makes you think of the moose tracks. They have hair on their backs that are like velvet on their backs. Shoulder to ground, an adult moose is about six feet tall. Not that you are likely to measure him at all. They can be up to six feet across and grow yearly. Their horns are not shed like those antlers can be. Uses its big hooves as a defense when it has fears. They can live in their habitat tat, uh, up to 20 or more years. The moose is another ruminant and a um, lot of fa fascinating things to learn about animals in lots of places, you know, books, libraries, um, TV, internet. The next rhyme poem is The Wise Old Owl, and I have a thing for an owl named Boo Boo. The wise old owl, the wise old hoot owl knows where to be. It hides in the bushes or in a tree. It only comes out at night to eat, hunt, and hoot. It's an orator and it doesn't eat fruit. Then with its wide wings, it will fly away. Its sharp big eyes can see its prey, and it can get a mouse or a frog in a pond, and suddenly they will be gone. The beak's so sharp, he's light as a feather. He stays around in most cold weather. He's said to be wise in mythology. He's also known as being spooky. If you're lucky, you'll see him one day before his striped feathers fly away. Um, they have such wide wings and they're carnivores and raptors and are um, fascinating to learn about. Learn all you can about the animals. Uh, the obstinate ostrich is the next poem. You don't see it slowing down to the last. It's running in circles and moving fast. Although it's a bird, it really can't fly. It uses its wings as rudders as he moves by. It can kick and hurt you if you don't get away. In the jungle, it happens to poor lions every day. Its knees are on backwards, or so it appears. But its legs are like that for all of its years. It doesn't bury its head in the sand as most people think, but it spits up in its water and then it will still drink. Um, ostriches are omnivores and um, also eat things like sand and pebbles and Lifespans are really long, like 30, 40 years. The next rhyme poem is The Greedy Pig. And there's my greedy pig. The greedy pig, the omnivore pig, is pink and fat indeed. It eats fodder quickly and is not hard to feed. You will not see a greedy pig share its food. To most of us, it seems rather rude. It's usually getting ready to go to market. 
but a piglet also makes a terrific pet. Piggy banks are known to put in money. You can fill it up slow or quick like a bunny. When you see a pig that is bigger than big, it's doing its job to get fat. It's a pig. A lot of fascinating facts about pigs. And um, some people have pigs as pets and, you know, like to read them like dogs and get really lovely pets out of them. The next rhyme poem is the precocious panda. And precocious means like he does things before he would have in um, most time, like normal time. He's like smarter. The panda bear's fur appears black and white. It's cute and furry from morning till night. It lives in China in temperate climate zones. They are endangered rare and are alone. They eat bamboo to survive, which grows there. If this species is to continue, we must take care. These animals are up to 200 pounds or more of weight. They play, climb, and run from morning till late. Who doesn't like to see a sitting panda bear? They are intelligent to watch and, and can be near. They have strong jaws so they can chew their bamboo. They can be seen in the U.S. in the National Zoo. Uh, they can also be seen, you know, on TV and on the Internet and in books. So learn about the animals. Um, the Prancing Pink Flamingo is my next rhyme poem. And there's Prancing Pink Flamingo. That you can color. When one sees a prancing, feathered pink bird, you think flamingo without saying a word. So rare looking, so adorably a shade of pink. A shade of red must be in their food or drink. Only in zoos and certain lands is the food. For this omnivore, with, with its own fortitude, to lay its eggs in such a rough place, and to teach the chicks that are born to race, to find what they need, and to not get mired, and to locate that which is desired. They, they run around in mud, and being mired in mud means you're stuck in mud. They are also seen as plastic lawn decorations. These ornaments were an instant sensation. I wish there were more, but they are rare. Their legs are thin, but they can move fast like a hare. Uh, pink flamingos are on my Christmas tree this year. A bunch of lights. I tend to like birds a lot.